Hello and good morning, Capricorns. Oh, the energy is so strong just while shuffling. So I left every card and was like, yes, yes, I will not put it back. I will not put it back. No way. Okay, splitting the deck for the bird deck. We literally got this beautiful blue raven and I was like, thank you. And then I'm shuffling the mystic deck. And are you ready? We get the freaking love card first. Then we got the mystery. And then we have kindness at the bottom of the deck. All I keep hearing are mirrored, mirrored, mirrored souls. Mirrored, 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 mirrored. And let me just tell you, we do have a soulmate card. Three, three. I already saw a three, three. Do you see that? A mirrored soul. A three and a fucking three. I told you this shit is for ruin. There's a three. Ah! You know your tarot girl does not lie to you. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, I would love to contain it, but I can't. Okay, like, look, there's two cats. There's two um, swans. There's two cups. I mean, there's, there's a little bit more than one dolphin on there, but at the same time, there's another dolphin on there. So it's like, look, and then one, one, I just saw one, one. There you go. That's two, one, and one. That, that's a mirrored freaking thing. A mirrored soul. <laughs> And then, okay, the rack. The rack on the deer is, is just like, okay, hello. They mirror each other. I'm just done. I'm done. Okay, let me take a deep breath with my empathic, insane energy. Because it's too excited. Too excited. <laughs> Capricorns, I've missed y'all. How y'all doing? Okay, and it says dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Harmony, love, mystery, soulmate, kindness. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I did it really quick. Um... And it says number 35 we have. I had set him over there because you look at it. Look at this bitch. He, look how gorgeous this forehead is. Look how gorgeous these feathers and these earrings of this hippie little fella. This koala. He is so amazing. And it says spirit has a plan. So spirit has a plan for me to light this candle right now. <laughs> like girl, what you doing? We need to have light. We need light on the sitch. Oh my goodness, how cool is that? Oh, there's even two roses! Mirrored, 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 mirrored. Two and 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 two. I mean, even look at the hearts. The heart on the top and the heart on the bottom is mirrored. The two tails together there. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm done. I'm done. So cool. So cool. I love tarot. How could y'all hate tarot? What's your problem? <laughs> Oh, if anyone's a hater, then they can drink that haterade and live in it because Tara's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to leave the card that is stunning for this lovely soulmate reading for my cappies. Now, I would say that whether you are... Okay, look, I'm sorry, but either you're mirroring the person that you have, like, right now that is a present person in your life long-term relationship that you've been in maybe it is your soulmate maybe you're gonna find a new one and dump the old one i have no idea or if you are single maybe you're just really gonna find a soulmate or soul mates soul tribes we do have three over here the three of cups means that that could be more than one person that you love like we truly do have more than one soulmate in our life. That is what you call stunning energy, okay? <clears throat> Look, another three. All I have to say, okay, we have the three of cups. We have the three of pentacles. All right, we saw three, three. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Oh, I don't know if I want to take it. No, I do. <laughs> okay, look, let me move this to the side because we have to get the Celtic cross going. I need, I, I need your energy to keep to get going here so all right we're gonna start it off like that and then we'll use this one and then i'm, I'm stopping at that because 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 okay your current energy your present energy is you are attracting in a soulmate a mirrored twin flame or a mirrored person someone who is the other half of your soul that becomes one all oh, oh i don't even know what to say besides wow okay what is the influence here is you are going to want to work to work on this, work towards this, um, or someone is going to want to work towards you. Um, how do I want to see this? Okay, all right, let's see how you're attracting in this love, okay, because that's, that's what I'm feeling right now. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I do not want to take this card on the bottom, but at the same time, it's saying mirrored soul, mirrored soul, mirrored soul. Look at the horn, y'all, dude! <laughs> I have to take it and then Capricorn, you're right fucking behind there. The devil card, the deal card, and then look at the forehead. Our Cappy symbol. Like, are you kidding me? Capricorns, what's happening? What's happening? I don't know. Okay, so the basis of the situation is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe you're going to take this slow or whoever is coming in that has a love interest towards you or 
you and your person are going to take this slow. And if it's been slow and you are in a relationship, then I think that things, the base of your situation is that you want to work towards maybe speeding it up. Um, loving each other more, pouring way more into each other. Okay, let's, let's shuffle. Woo, I saw a little jump. <laughs> Answers and guidance, please, for what is in the immediate past position, please, here, for Cappies. What's in the immediate past position here, please, for the Celtic energy? Come on. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, meaning small, 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 small energy is in the past, so it's time, seriously, to go big or go home. Oh, I'm excited. Ugh. Okay. We're putting those back. That's, that's too many cards. Yeah, okay. Huh. I don't think it was supposed to come out. I'm over it. We're putting it back. It's like saying no. I need the energy to be fucking... Yes! What are you? I will take that as a yes. What is in your crowning thoughts? The seven of pentacles. That's awesome. So you're thinking of long term. Uh, I didn't flip over. That one came out. And we do have... What is in your outcome? I mean, I'm sorry. Your immediate future. Okay, Capricorns. You got to get out of your own fucking head and out of your own way. And I think that you're going to. I think your outcome is looking really, really amazing. Because you have to tra uh, transform if you want this to happen really, really fast for you. If you want love to come in. If you want the kindness to roll in. If you want this amazing soul tribe, soul stuff to come in. I, I believe it's coming in quick. Chariot energy. I think that you're finally, like, letting love in. Letting friends in. Letting life in happen again finally because i don't think that's what you've been doing here i don't think you've been living um okay so let's get the rest of your energy here i would like to see what's in your fears position what is in cappy's fears what do they fear right now what is in their fears position thank you the chariot card again you you're fearing how fast this will come in or how fast this transformation is or how fast this love could actually come in mm, man you're fearing change a little bit Okay, so we do have the holy shit. Okay, so how do people view you? They view you as the king of cups energy. Okay, so remember, male or female, they see you as love, as healing, as empathetic, as nurturing, as kind, as... Oh, uh, the king of cups comes with so many amazing things. Are you ready for it's about what's at the bottom of this deck, this ace of pentacles? Um definitely sticking that to the side with the strength card with another yes card which is the eight of pentacles holy crap someone is strong enough right now to want to work towards this and we even have knight of wands do i take it or not because it's the second time i've seen it i just feel like somebody wants fast communication so i'm gonna take it I, i'm not gonna not say that it's my intuition oh my goodness and then we have the hermit card so yes somebody wants fast communication after being very quiet you have some serious side energy what are you the hangman energy this is in your hopes you're done waiting and you're done i think hoping to be honest i think maybe you're just done like waiting and hoping like you're gonna make this happen maybe you want this to happen to the point that you're done waiting um what do we have here four of wands um i'm gonna put that back in case it like if it wants to come out it'll come out if it, okay what do we have here okay we have options here okay for your outcome you have the seven of cups oh my goodness i think that once you seriously step out into the world again look at this you have the magician energy you have mastered every way to be abundant to end toxic cycles to start beautiful new beginnings oh my goodness like what Magician energy, we're definitely... Look, it's saying put it with that. All right, okay. And then the side energy over here for you, literally, Capricorns, is the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Holy crap, are y'all on fire? You're ending tough cycles, closing old doors, healing old wounds, transforming like a motherfucker. Um, I'm so sorry about my mouth. It'll go away one day. Huh? <laughs> You are walking away from anything not serving your highest good. You're done. You're done with people, places, and things that do not pour into you that you've been pouring into for far too freaking long, Capricorns. All right. Um, oh, wow. Is it, it's just just amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, I want to clarify. I want to clarify. With this beautiful deck that we have up here with this lovely harmony. All right. So... Your present energy and the positive influence here is that you are going to work really, really hard when it comes to this new love, 
or to igniting and refreshing the love that you are in right now. You want to work really hard at whatever's coming in for you right now, whether it is a brand new soul connection with your person or a new person. But I'm getting like, I'm getting new. I'm getting new. Like maybe new, fresh. I don't know. Um, I Even if it's with your person that you already have, you want to start to feel again like it's new. You want to, I don't know why I'm getting, okay, collaborate, work together, maybe find new fun ways of... I want to say hobbies or creative incomes for some reason. Um, freaking what? Um, okay, I think you guys just seriously want to have some more fun making money. But you want to actually have it together to where your souls... Look at that connection. To where your souls can connect in a way that is satisfying and financially fulfilling. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> let me please, um, before I get any more downloads, let me clarify that too of cups please and thank you two of cups please and thank you can we please clarify the two of cups for capricorn in the present situation number 13 the desk card you are definitely having a transformation capricorn holy freaking shit you're having this ending to being against maybe receiving and giving love like however it resonates for you Maybe you've been very cold-hearted and and not all there. Maybe you've been more stressed out than normal. Maybe not being able to give the full nature, rebirth, loving energy that you should be giving. And now it's here. Maybe the, like the old version of you that was very, very, very worn out, tired, stressed, couldn't really think of even love at that time because you've had so much maybe in your mental state or on your plate. And now you have this beautiful rebirth energy going on. I mean, to clarify that, oh, I'm down, okay? Let's clarify, please, and thank you, your influence, your positive influence on how hard you're going to work towards this. Holy crap, there it is. We have double confirmation, King of Cups again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Again, it's going to flow, and you're going to work together so much. This is a true love connection. Wow! Okay, maybe you have water in your chart. Otherwise, you may have just a water sign coming in for you that loves you, that wants to work on this with you. I'm going to say it. Not only are you in King of Cups energy, someone who either is your partner has water in their charts or could be a water sign or could just literally love you a fucking lot right now is going to put full effort. I see 717 on my TV right now. <clears throat> if you can zoom in right there to the corner of the TV... It's at the bottom now. It's at the bottom of my TV now. 717. All right. So, okay, let's continue. Oh, this is amazing. I mean, to clarify the three of pentacles, someone is going to work so hard because they're so in love with you. Um, someone doesn't want to let you go, Capricorn. And I don't think that you want to let go of, of this either. Like, I think you started to let love in and you're feeling it. And you're like, wow, why was I so cold-hearted, closed off, so against this? And at the same time, I think that you were just really, really hurt, Capricorns, and that's the answer. Like, why would you have been against this? I mean, your Capricorn card over here was clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, I mean, like, look, see what I'm looking at? And then the kindness that's igniting in you is about to be the newest fiery beginning of creativity and passion and sexiness that you have ever stepped into. A huge major arcana kind of ace of freaking wands energy. But your energy is absolutely mind-blowing. Today's awesome, okay? It's awesome. Mirrored energy, I heard it again. Mirrored energy, mirrored energy. Dude, that's why there's two kings here. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I can't stop thinking of it. I mean, Capricorn, at the bottom of the deck, we have the same card that you literally have in, in this immediate energy right now. Right here. What you're feeling. Like, like, okay, in the immediate future, you tend to sink back in maybe into anxiety, into depression, into to snippets or bits or fits. So, um, <clears throat> could just be from your past life. I mean, if you've had more than trauma, more than trauma, okay? It's probably created some type of a mental health that you probably cannot actually ever get rid of. And it will be a piece of your 
journey for the rest of your life is what I want to say. So sometimes maybe you can go back into the hermit mode, into the cocoon. I think it's just literally clarifying that for you. And that's double confirmation at the bottom of that deck. I'm going to put this over here because I feel like it's clarifying your um, hermit card energy a little bit. So I think you're going to stop blaming yourself sometimes though, but there are going to be times to where you overthink like the old patterns and the old old ways I think that you've had. Look, we even have the Empress at the bottom of this deck. You have literally Mother Nature, the Empress at the bottom of this deck. So you are attracting a lot of beautiful things. This is amazing energy right now that I'm getting in. I have to take this energy and I have to take this download for you. We just got the Eight of Swords. You are literally going to go from blaming yourself all the time to owning how nurturing, loving, and beautiful you truly are. You're not going to have the limiting beliefs. You're not going to stay stuck in this, this mental imprisonment that you have yourself or had yourself trapped. That is the point here of this rebirth energy. This is so amazing. Oh. This is why you walk the fuck away from people who don't deserve the love you're pouring into them. That's exactly why you walk away. To own your fucking shit back. To start to pour into you. To, to literally grow, heal, ignite yourself with this freaking fiery love passion that's inside of you. The... The... Okay, Taurus energy is amazing, okay? When it's in Empress energy, you're a goddess. You're you're in feminine power. You're nurturing, loving like a mother, sister, and and a partner. Like like you're you're all all love in one. I, I don't even know how else to explain it besides just stunning energy is coming in for you. Let's keep continuing here. Okay, I have to get moving. We have to clarify this Knight of Pentacles. So the base of your situation is a possible... Okay, this could be you though, Capricorn. Maybe you just want to be slow and steady. I kind of keep feeling like this is you. This is how... After a transition and a rebirth, you don't really want to move fast. You know, kind of like baby steps at this point right now because you're stepping into something new. It's different. It's change. Change is always hard. It's always scary to love again. Especially if we were hurt in the past. Um, <clears throat> see, confirmation at the bottom of the fucking deck as I'm shuffling. We have the Seven of Cups coming out twice. Okay, second confirmation. And I'm going to take it because it's definitely saying right now. Okay, and I'm just going to go. We're going to go from the bottom of the deck. It says to go. So I'm going. Holy shit, did I go. Okay. Okay. I'm so excited for this because I can't even believe that just happened. It was like, go, go, go. All right, so. You, in the base of your situation right now, Capricorn, you're in this Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. So if you have love options coming in, you're going to sort out who is the Jokers, who are, you know, wearing a false mask, who's fucking running around looking like fucking Mickey Mouse, who's wearing the, the halo, who's actually in king status, who can cook for you, who's literally honest and loyal. Like, you're going to sort out your choices and options, and you're going to be smart about it because you're going to be slow and steady when you're going to pick maybe this person or your options in love and life, okay? This could also I mean like okay you don't want to you you want to make sure that the choices that you make okay if they're like wishes and like wish fulfillment type of things okay and it's not choices in love like in people then I would say you're going to weigh out your choices whether that be like money finance home um things like that um but I'm feeling like that's that's love options all the way you're going to be slow and steady to absolutely read everyone's energy to see what they're about first actions speak louder than words you're not going to fall for any stupidity because okay Taurus energy when the, when you're in okay you're in double Taurus energy and like when you're in the knight of pentacles energy male or female you are logical and you don't just jump and make a reckless decision you don't just jump into a relationship and make a stupid mistake you don't just love right away you have to literally weigh the pros and cons because you're a serious earth sign for one you're also in double serious energy if you're in the knight of pentacles and you're definitely like you know what i will never repeat my past cycle so i will definitely be taking everything slow from here on out forever okay now what is in your immediate past um, you're done with people that give you small, small offers just to get you to bite the bait um I don't think that you are going to literally have anyone that comes in like that anymore. You're not going to be dumb enough to, like I said, fall for any stupidity. So if anyone wants to come in and be your friend, whether it's an earth sign or just someone who wants to come in, you're going to make sure that they have more than a fucking penny to offer. And I'm going to say it like it is. This page of pentacles is showing up as the people in your past that literally showed up in your life as fucking pennies. 
I've never gotten that message or download in my life about a penny. Go, go through my readings for the past two years on YouTube. Go. Right here, what is clarifying what you've learned here from your past is you will never, ever take less than you deserve again because you deserve connections that are fucking literally going to work together. You have the three of pentacles again. You have the three of pentacles again. Earth energy that connects. Earth energy that is supportive, loving, loyal, honest, there for you is supportive financial abundance here okay this is someone who's going to work with you not against you not have you hanging like the fish off the hook off the bait that they offered no 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 more of that it's going to be equal give and take or get the frick out of my face amazing clarification amazing are you ready for this shit all right you have in your crowning thoughts that you want to be financially dependent financially stable and you want seeds well planted for your future self for future emergencies funerals for for just worry and concern about bills you want seeds well planted you want fruit to still be there to pick from the tree when you can't even walk or have bad health or something bad happens in your life you want to make sure that you're financially stable that's what you're focused on right now making money and having seeds well planted seeds well planted also not just in money in growth in in wisdom because we have the wisdom card right here number five um you have to give me a second, guys, because I don't want to make a mistake. If this is not the Hierophant card, then it would be the Emperor. This deck is very, very tricky for me. I'm so sorry. Um, brand new sometimes when the Major Arcanas come out. It's the Hierophant. I'm right. Okay. Wisdom, I should have known because Wisdom and Guidance is the Hierophant card. So look at this. You know, this is clarified that you have the wisdom, the knowledge, and the guidance to work with whoever you have to and to collaborate with whoever you want to. And you're going to be so creative with this new fiery beginning that's going to be in your system after this. I mean, seriously, what happens to a butterfly when she comes out of the cocoon? She's like the sun, man, coming up from night, okay? It's like she's finally shown her light. Um, or he, however this resonates. Now we have more Taurus energy than ever in your reading. I cannot believe it. Taurus again. And then the page of pentacles that was here. Okay. And then like, it's just a lot of earth energy, a lot of pentacles, a lot of, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy going on in your reading right now, though, this is directly Taurus and directly Taurus is the sun, the Knight of pentacles directly Taurus is your empress energy. Um, but I definitely feel like you have either a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio coming in towards you with love and you are full of love. You're full of the same mirrored energy. You're empathetic. You're, you're, you're so loving and ready to receive and give because you both, I think, have had the same mirrored past, the same type of relationships. However this resonates, if it's not another Taurus coming in for you, then it is definitely going to be a water sign who's in love with you like you wouldn't believe but I want to get I want to keep I don't want to focus on that right now I'm getting pulled towards their energy I don't, I don't want to keep doing that um so your crowning thoughts right now okay on the situation is you want to make money and you have the wisdom and guidance to actually collaborate with people you have this twice you have the three of pentacles twice and you have the three of cups which is together collaborating and loving each other like full-on loving each other this is support, not judgment. This is, I understand you. I'm not going to talk bad about you. This is, I'm going to be, you're going to be able to close the door and I'm still going to have your back and not talk bad behind it. These are people coming into your life to literally work with you who also have the wisdom and guidance to help you make money right now, to help you get back on your feet, to help you heal. And I, okay, I would say it would be like a marriage card, but we are nowhere near marriage in this reading. You are at a trans transformation stage right now with with the fact that you have um the death card um transformation and then you have the eight of swords with the butterfly in the cocoon here it's just so much clarification that you are at the beginning of a new cycle at the beginning of a new beautiful fiery major arcana big star you are gonna show up like a bang my beautiful capricorns do it i'm telling you you're going to see what I mean. You have the wisdom and the knowledge to make money and you're looking in a partner. Look at this mirrored energy, mirrored energy. Oh my goodness. I cannot stop hearing it. 
It's so beautiful. Look, even these hands, mirrored energy, mirrored energy. You want someone who will give to you like you will give to them, whether that is in money, love, light, happiness. I mean, oh my goodness. Whether you just need a little bit of space. I mean, this is respect to the fullest. Once you step out of your freaking way, Capricorns, and step out of your mind, and you know your worth, and you literally own it, and I mean own it, step out of your mental capacity, this mental mental what chaos there we go the mental chaos so that you can literally step into mental clarity please can we have this yes this looks way better does it not this is where someone who's coming in for you or you are just going to be making so much money that you are going to be able to be generous to others but make sure you have firm boundaries never get played never get used never get treated like you did in the past and never let it make you feel guilty after helping someone that means you're doing too much and you're not pouring enough into yourself if that's how you ever feel don't do that to yourself and never hold things against anyone if you're going to be generous you be generous without throwing things in people's faces because that is not a loyal person and that is not an okay thing um I think you're going to step out of anxiety Capricorns you're going to step out of your own way and this is a beautiful immediate future it's a beautiful clarification for you to find balance you're going to find balance in your finances and in your mental clarity this is the clarification six of pentacles again earth energy Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy clarifying that energy right there okay let's keep going um let's clarify the chariot and the king of cups and the hangman energy please yes we have a card flipped over who are you who are you four okay all right in your fears position okay see you're this is holding on to something okay but holding on to it so tightly that you can't let anything in you're like freaking out like oh my god it's if i let this go i'll never be able to live without it again like like it's like something that you can't throw away but it no longer serves any purpose okay so with this clarifying the chariot card capricorn I think that you have been so closed off and just holding yourself and your light and your pentacles and you're just so closed off and to yourself. You're just holding on to yourself and it's consuming you. Like the, this is in your fierce position. So it's literally clarifying that stop, stop holding on, stop holding on like that. Stop holding on to things that don't matter anymore. I need you to be the horse. Get back on the horse and ride it through the fucking wind. I need you to speak your truth into existence right now, Capricorn. Not stay stagnant and stuck in energy and hostaging, you know, the few bit of coins that you may have left because you don't want to work hard enough to make more. No, no, no. Don't stay in the negative energy that you have been in to where it's anxiety and depression and mental health and conflict and not clarity just mental chaos the in prison you do not want to stay in the imprisonment do you want to stay in mental prison the rest of your life no you do not no you don't this is where it's telling you please let go let go a little bit lighten up a little bit all right now let's clarify um okay so that's in your fears you're fearing lightening up you're fearing opening up you're fearing letting go i know that change is scary capricorns but you have beautiful energy and a beautiful new beginning happening for you. Beautiful changes here. You have got to surrender and trust the universe. It's not going to steer you wrong. Only we as human beings in this human form that make bad decisions sometimes instead of trusting our intuition or trusting the universe. Sometimes we trust ourselves, and it's never really the thing to do sometimes if we don't really have the mental clarity to make that decision then you're not logical you're not stable enough to even make that decision so you have got to get out of it look at this did i not say that you are not mental you're like mentally stable i can't take it oh this is again the eight 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 is definitely a number here for you oh my gosh and that is the number of this fucking abundance oh my goodness eight eight eight's your number and then we have the infinity sign over here oh my goodness oh my goodness i hear it i hear it i hear it mirrored 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 i don't care if it is soulmates or multiple or a few people coming in i feel like you have so much love and support coming in soul tribe energy is just screaming mirrored souls mirrored souls whether they're water signs whether they're whatever signs they are like you have friends in, in all kinds of places is what I'm hearing. You have friends supporting you in all types of places. I can't even take it. Three, 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 eight, eight, eight. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. And we have, again, the Eight of Cups. Um, Clarifying that, okay, for new love to come in, you have to walk away from the past, Capricorn. Um, Like, this is now clarifying 
your energy and the fact that, okay, give me one second. This is how people are viewing you. They're viewing you as, as being very loving, empathetic, very nurturing, a very big giver, a very loving person, a very, I'll do anything for you. I'll give anything to you person. This is how people view you like no other. But you're walking away from the people that are taking advantage of you, which is fucking amazing. You're done. To walk, you're walking away from the cops. You have nothing to give back to you. You are pouring into yourself. This is such a healing energy. Do it, Capricorn. Keep going. I can feel the momentum as we go on. It's just more and more baby steps to the healing. More and more and more and more as we go. The cycle is just continuing and it's manifesting and it's manifesting and it's manifesting into fruition, okay? It's it's gorgeous energy. It's good karmic energy. Like, how do I say it? Good karma. It is such good karma. Um, Like, good justice, good whatever. I don't even know how to explain this. Um, I mean, you have this magician energy that came out with that... Um. I just keep hearing manifesting, like we're getting to that outcome, the manifestation. I mean, <laughs> all right, I finally have the download for the love. Someone has so much mirrored love for you. It's unbelievable. I don't know what to do besides to stick this right here on this new beginning because someone doesn't care what you've been through and you don't care what they've been through. Sometimes two broken people can, okay, I know that people say hurt people hurt people, but broken people can fix broken people too. And sometimes you need someone to understand you like that. And I will say that after everything that you've both been through, whoever your love option is or whoever your person is, you're there for each other like no other. You're going to love each other till the fucking end. I mean, this is such a beautiful energy. It's unfreaking real Um... You both have had the end of a tough cycle and a completion here. And you're both having a fiery brand new beginning in love, in in a major arcana here, in creation, in what you want to create. I think the both of you are going to create abundance is what I see here. Okay, let's clarify Hangman. And okay, I want this card. Literally, it's the Knight of Cups. You're done waiting for love. This is the Knight of Cups, water, love, coming in so fast. Flying in on that horse, baby. Finally kicking that horse in the butt on that chariot. Yes, get it, Cappy. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. You're like, okay, I'm done hanging around in the darkness. I'm done being moody. I've had enough. I'm finally full of love and light and I want to freaking move faster. I need this love to come in. It's coming. It's coming. The healing is coming in. The love is coming in. You're done waiting. It's real. This is happening. And that is in your hopes. That is in your hopes, baby. Ain't no more hoping. There's some action. Okay. Um, we have as your outcome... I mean, it already literally clarified with the same deck, but we will clarify again that your options, you have manifested. You don't have to worry about your options anymore, Capricorn. The options that are going to come in for you in love, they're in all forms of love. I mean, from people, places, money, things, everything that you wanted. It's like the seven, seven is here too. Like there are sevens here. Great energy is here for you. And then this manifestation card. And then there's that abundant symbol again that I have seen already for the number eight. And it is literally sideways. The number eight is the infinity symbol to me. I am getting this is your year. Mm -hmm. I'm getting this is your year. <laughs> I'm getting the mystery card here. That Capricorn, you've been a mystery to people for a very, very long time hiding in this hermit energy. I'm going to put this where it belongs. But people know when they know if you are just like them. If you're a mirrored soul, if you're a soulmate, people can feel it, Capricorn, even if you're trying to hide. Oh my. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going and clarify if there needs to be any more clarification for this Magician Energy. Seven of Cups, please. <sighs> the Voyager. The Voyager. The Voyager. What is the Voyager? Number 12. The Voyager. I feel like it's a page, but I don't know. I don't think it's a major arcana. It's a number 12. I gotta go into the water. Hold on. Number 8, 9, 10, 11. 
Okay, the 12 is... Guys, I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. Are you fucking ready for this shit? I'm so glad that I double-checked this book. We have to take one step back. That's it, one step. Instead of me being, um, thinking that, uh, this was literally the, the, uh, the knight. No, baby, this is the queen. <laughs> This means even more water power than ever. This is literally the queen. You're in queen of cups energy. You're done waiting for love and you are literally going to embrace love. Your your love itself. You're literally the empress card and the queen of cups. And now the knight of cups is coming out to clarify your option in love. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so happy that this turned out even different. Capricorns, you're like seriously loving yourself and I'm so fucking proud of you for that. You're pouring all the love you needed to in the first place into you. It's about damn time. It is about damn time. And then someone's coming in. They flying in. Someone you manifested. Someone you've been wishing for. They're clarifying this abundance. This this magician energy. The seven of cups. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Keep working on this, Capricorn. Keep going. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I can't even think. Okay, we have adapt. This has been screaming at me. And then provide it. See, I don't know, guys. You may have to look at the dolphin energy again. We have dolphin energy again. And then I'm going to fucking say it. Mirrored energy. Mirrored energy is coming out again. Are you ready for the fucking realness? We already have koala spirit. It's already on the thing. I already showed you koala spirit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> And what does that say? Okay, it says spirit has a plan to protect you, to provide for you. Maybe you do have options in a lot of soulmates. You could have a Taurus and a water sign coming in for you. I'm getting options, options, options now. But I'm still getting the yin to your yang and a mirrored soul. And then we just got, look, there's two koalas there, which could be a mirrored soul, which means, I don't know, you and you your child are protected. But at the same time, mirrored souls, there is already your hubby, your wife, whoever is over there sitting, waiting to literally love and protect you and your family. Another dolphin energy, joy, abundance, balance. This is beautiful. <laughs> Someone who literally wants to come in and help and provide, but at the same time, if a Taurus is coming in to help and provide and is your co-partner, like co-creator, co-co-worker, however this resonates for you, <clears throat> they're going to not just let you sit on your ass. They're going to push you. They're going to be like twin flame energy. They're going to make sure that even though they want to protect you, they want you to thrive and make money with them. They they, they provide probably at first or forever if they ha love you enough, but at the same time, they're going to help you. And you're new to this whole balance and opening up to love Capricorn so you have to adapt like an octopus an octopus can do anything it can squeeze and get out of any container it can get out of any window any house any door anything any container you are going to be so adaptable that it's gonna be amazing once you get into like this high vibration frequency and you have your soul tribe and these loving energies and these, these beautiful people come in for you to support and love you, Cappy, you're going to be like, yes, I prayed for this. I manifested this. I wished for this my whole freaking life. I've waited for this abundant moment to, to come in. Look at this. <clears throat> you have been so patient, so patient while you have had growth and healing you've been waiting for a very long time and this is telling me to put right there the patience you have had is finally seriously paying off the slow and steady wins the race i mean come on and then like what a beautiful friendship and love and energy is coming in oh mirrored souls mirrored souls mirrored souls guess what's at the bottom and we already have that card too let me just set that there. I want to show you guys your, your cards, okay? Just take a look at what I see. The beautifulness that I see, okay? Clarifying from anxiety to being financially balanced and generous and having so much growth. And you have waited a long time for this, Capricorns. I mean, from going to slow and steady wins the race to making sure that you will always make sure that you don't just jump into a decision anymore. You're going to make the right one. You are have been patient for long enough time that the clock is going for you. It is finally time, okay? Finally. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> okay, it's telling me to grab these. 
Okay. So right here, this is where the adaptation adapting is here. Fine. I get it. Okay. And then the Taurus energy, it's telling me the Taurus energy with the Hierophant card. Oh my goodness. I'm loving the intuition today. Keep talking to me, babe. Um, holy crap. Someone's going to be in harmoniousness, like harmonious energy. Okay. You will not take pennies and less than you deserve and shit fucking offers anymore because that is just bait on a hook. You know better than to watch that shit happen. You want to see action, not have someone talking, not give you pennies and breadcrumb you just to get you on the hook. And then, you know, they're going to come with nothing again. Now people are going to come into your life that are your soul tribe energy. The balance is going to be beautiful and amazing. I just saw two birds fly at each other and kiss outside the window. If only their shadow would move again and I could see the shadow again. Do you see the birdhouse moving? He's right there through the curtain. Okay, so we have adaptation. Am I saying that right? Adaptation. Yes, you're going to adapt to to collaborating with people, to making money, to working with people, to to maybe have, I don't know better relationships better support better financial stability however this resonates for you and then again over here seeds well planted because you have the wisdom and guidance Taurus energy is coming in here it, either it's your own energy you may have Taurus in your chart Capricorn I don't know um or you have someone who is going to provide whether that be yourself you're going to provide for the universe is literally it has a plan if they're sending you friends, I, I feel like you have Taurus friendship coming in. I feel like you have water friendship coming in. I feel like you have Virgo friendship coming in. I feel like you just have so much love coming from every corner of your life. And then, you know, the bomb transformation that you've had. I mean, and then let me just get a card here for this, okay? I don't even have to. What's going to happen, Capricorn, when you find your person, the yin to your yang, with that two of cups that we have that's underneath of the death card clarified that you literally look at that eight look at that number eight holy shit 41 41 too oh i've seen the abundant symbol the infinity symbol so many times it, it you have to believe this if you don't then i don't know what to tell you don't don't believe tarot huh. the balance and the mirrored and the mirrored energy here this is definitely a fucking soulmate um I couldn't get more dolphin energy in one reading in my life. This is just such joy. It, it means 333. Three, three. Dolphins mean 333. Three, three. You got the number three. You have three cards with dolphins on it. I mean, three fucking koala bears. Guys, you can't make this up. Okay, so now I know that it's time. The second that things start to get good. There goes that clock because then the universe is like, all right, I've given enough information about this. I don't want to give too much. Um, or a negative entity could be trying to stop the reading. Has their eye on you? Has been trying to consume and take your energy? A malevolent fucker is what we'll call it. Um... I kind of want to clarify the malevolent freaking energy that just tried to turn off our camera here. Who does not want Capricorn to get this message, please, and thank you? Mm -hmm. That's not clarifying. That's that freaking card again. It's just telling me to take it. So, all right, I'm just going to take that. It's just double clarification for that. Um, Pentacles. Are you ready? <clears throat> this is your clarification and your other clarification. Guess who it is, guys? The Knight and the Queen... Of swords. So a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're the people that want you to stay down. Capricorn. This is, was just clarified. They always watch you like a hawk. Someone always wants to try to hunt you down. Make you fucking feel like shit. However that resonates. And is always trying to consume your energy. Always watching and waiting. To take fast action to tear you down mentally. These are some bad fucking people that were in your life. Holy fuck. Stay away from the, those fuckers. Stay away from them. Yeah, all they did was cause you grief. We have the 10 down here of swords. Again, it's the end of a tough cycle with these people. Goodbye to them because right now, you are in your queen of pentacles energy. There is another koala bear. I'm done. I am done. I'm done. Guys, mirrored energy is so real. Look at this support. Look at this beautiful energy. You know what? You don't care about the past anymore is what I'm getting. You don't care about the people that hurt you anymore. You don't care about the people that try to come after you, that try to consume your energy. Because I think that you are so divinely protected right now. Can I say it anymore? You are so supported and protected by the divine and by yourself and 
you're just done giving energy that doesn't even exist to the people that don't even deserve it anymore. Those people are not even a part of your fucking life anymore. You don't give them your power no more. It's the end of a tough cycle. It's the end to those people. To them air signs. Thank freaking God is all you have to say. <laughs> Alrighty, so moving on from that shit show. Um, we have clarified so much, okay? I don't, I don't even think that I need to go any farther besides I want to just read your your other energy now. Um, we did not get to read your overall energy, so let's do that real quick. You are stepping into abundance. Another huge new beginning in finances. Literally, the lottery, the bucket, I don't know what it is. Career, raise, and a job. This is the Ace of Pentacles. Clarified again, though. What, what kept popping out? The Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but money. This is money. This is legacy money. This is a very big major arcana new beginning, okay? <clears throat> this is followed by the strength and the infinity. So you have infinite possibilities in multiple streams of income, in multiple new beginnings, in multiple rays of sunshine and abundance, and you are getting your strength back, Capricorn, from being in a very dark place in your life. You're finally building yourself back from the bottom. You're finally going to work towards something, towards creation, whether that's working hard at your job, money, a home. You're building your web. You're painting your canvas right now in this Eight of Pentacles energy. Stunning. So stunning. You are on fire, Capricorns, with your energy right here. And you are going to take action, fast action and movement right now to go after your dreams and build them. You've been waiting. You've been patient long enough. You're, you have the fire. You, it's lit, baby. The, the, this Ace of Wands says it's lit. I'm putting it over there. It, you're so amazing right now in your energy, Capricorns. Stay in this energy. Forget the fucking past because it's the end. Sorry, but if anybody wished you any of that malignant energy and they've done anything to you, <clears throat> their judgment day is soon. Anyway, hermit card energy is beautiful energy, okay? You've been, you, you know, you've been thinking, you've been meditating, you've been healing, you've been contemplating, you've been in your head long enough and you're like, you know, when I see the light, I want to step out into my beautiful Virgo happy energy. The Virgo, okay, the hermit card, it can be Virgo and Gemini energy, but it's very happy. It's like, finally, you're going to shine. Like, who finally lit the fucking can, like, the lantern is what I'm saying, in the cave of the shell that you've been hiding in, Capricorns? You're finally going to step out. And then everyone's going to discover what, what a mystery, a beautiful mystery you have been. The diamond in the rough. Oh, I, I just... You have literally went from anxiety to empress. I mean, own it, Capricorns? Male or female? If you have literally went from anxiety to emperor, I mean, do it. If you want to feel like a god or a goddess, do it. Right now, you have bomb energy. You have walked away from shit fucking people in your life. That's over there. We'll just add that to the shit pile. Goodbye. <laughs> I mean, it's literally, look, financial independence, nine of pentacles. You're, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be so harmonious. You're going to have support. You're going to have so much beautiful friendships and energy and soul tribes coming in. I just can't even say it enough. Let me just tell you that the meaning for cunning in this, in the mystic deck is so beautiful that I think I should read it. And then let me just read the Raven card real quick. Okay. You have this beautiful blue Raven energy and it says <clears throat> ancestral wisdom the ancestors call to you from afar. Sense their magic and wisdom. Yes! Yes! I love it. Okay. And then we have, you know, the koala spirit. Let's just show your husband. You know, we've had mirrored energy the whole time. Um, and this says 35. And it says spirit has a plan. Yes, it does. Um, and then we have dolphin spirit again. This and that are true, Capricorn. So... I believe that, you know, this and that that I've said is freaking true. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. I'm so excited for you. This was beautiful. This was beautiful. We have number 20, um, 35, and 333-888. Guys, I'm going to read this real quick before the camera goes off. If I have the book by me. If I don't have the book, then we are kind of out of luck. I don't see it, though. Hmm. 
I don't think it's by me, guys. I don't think I have the mystic book by me. Yes, I do! Woo! It is meant for me to read that message! Okay, I think that's a fox. Number 54. 54, 54, 54. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it is. 54 is the fox cunning. This card represents shrewdness, wit, and astute intellect. It says, the foxes, hold on. I don't want to start talking about religion if no one wants to talk about religion, so I'm just trying to get into this. Hold on one second. It says, okay, I'll just read it. It says, before Christianity, the fox in, okay, the fox creature of deceit, it says, they were referred by the Celts as be a being of wise counsel and logical reasoning. The fox's pelt was said to contain great magic and cunning was seen as a positive trait necessary for tactics like logic and diplomacy of war. The fox card in this deck represents a tactical and knowledgeable person who prefers words over action. The fox is a stealthy and clever predator and the fox card might be urging sub subtlety and tact in pursuing one's goals. A heavy hand is not always necessarily the fox card encourages. Oh, it says, and the fox card encourages refinement and delicacy. Foxes are adaptable creatures. And by approaching the problem rationally with a delicate hand, you will best discern how to move forward. It is a beautiful energy. It is also an earth element. And it also, the stones that go with this card are aquamarine and amethyst. How amazing is this? And if you want a flower for this card, it says Prime Rose. Primrose, maybe? It just makes me think of the Hunger Games. All right, guys. Beautiful energy. Beautiful messages. We can read one more before my phone dies. This is Seagull Energy. I'm so sorry that it's so dark now, guys. Shit happens. It says, Constant flow of life. Guidance. Living according to your own rhythm. Beautiful. All I gotta say, look, dude, all I can say is that literally, are you ready? Wisdom, wisdom, mirrored energy, okay? Guidance, wisdom. What does the Hierophant mean? Guidance and wisdom. Mirrored energy is everywhere. Ev absolutely freaking everywhere. I send you my love and light. I'm just gonna get a little bit closer so that you guys can see, you know, what we have here. Um, if you wanna read this, this other card, I think it says the abyss. Um, and just says wisdom. Um, Yens can read that. My phone's gonna end up dying here real soon. If you need to go back and pause on anything so that you can see stuff better. I can't even tell you how amazing your reading is. You're gonna attract everything. And you're getting rid of all the garbage. From your past. Beautiful. Oh, just beautiful. Bye, guys. I send you my love and light. You're awesome.